All right, so if you'd like to build your own collections in Flax, you have two options. You can either download the Flax software and create your own Flax server. We also have an option for um, a plugin for the Moodle virtual learning environment. So this enables you to create Flax collections within Moodle. And you'll see down here we have um, different options for uh, mobile applications, um, databases that can be added within your collection and down here we have the release versions of the software which are being updated on a regular basis. However, if you'd like to um, build your collections on the Flax server itself um, here on our website, we'll just return to the library area and I'll show you where people are building collections. So down here we have um, an area created and um, collections created by registered users and you can see that people are building language collections out of um, TED Talks, um, Open Yale, lectures, um, here is a, a speech given by Steve Jobs. So you get the idea, people are just building collections out of resources that are of use to them. And in order to do that you need to get in touch with us to set up an account. So unlike the uh, new user option for playing with the activities in existing collections like I showed you before in the um, lore collections already on the Flax website, here you'll need to um, get in touch with us to set up an account and um, here are the details at Waikato where you can contact us. Okay so I'm just logging on to my account And um, once you've logged in, you'll see that your name appears here at the top. And, and this will give you an idea of um, what's available within the collections building interface for directly working on the Flax server. So if I just go to the top one here, list users. So these are the people currently who are building collections with us. So you can see there's a lot of teachers, administrators um, building collections. and if you go into the middle section, this will be the area, this is what it will look like, your area where you're um, building new collections. So you've got my finished collections here in blue and my collections under construction here in yellow. And um, so these are the ones in blue that will appear on the Flax website and these are the ones that are behind the scenes that you're still working on. So to add a new collection, um, you just click on the button and give your collection a name. So for example, test. Um, a description. Um, so, what's your collection about? Okay, a demonstration document for a new collection. Okay, so once you've put in your description and name, just save. And this will bring you to the, um, the main interface where you can add new documents. But notice here in blue, um, before you add any document to your collection, please ensure that you have the co uh, copyright permission to do so. So either you're going to use open resources like I've been using in the previous law collections that I demonstrated, or you can um, seek the permission from um, the copyright holder of whatever document it is that you want to use. So um, let's go ahead and add a document. I'm going to um, choose a TED talk because the TED um, by Ian Golden um, he has a, a talk on globalization and I've chosen a TED talk because TED talks are open they can be easily used and reused for educational purposes without having to seek permission so instead of um, selecting beginner, intermediate and advanced, those are our default settings, you can um, create your own category areas as well. So I'm just going to call this area TED Talks. And here you have different tabs for things you can add to your collection. So text, auxiliary text, um, so this is text about your text. So let's go and grab a um, a TED Talk. So here we have Navigating Our Global Future by Ian Golden, a TED Talk. And as we know, um, TED provides 
great transcripts that we can use in different languages. And Flax is also a multilingual software system, so you can build collections in other languages. And what you want to do is just copy in your text, so it identifies there are 12 paragraphs. Um, I'm going to go back to the text about this talk. So this is where I'm going to add text about the talk into the auxiliary text area. You can also put here, you know, licensing information, um, something about the author or the speaker, whatever the case may be. Um, if I want to add images, I can. I just upload an image from my computer. Um, audio, if you're going to build collections with uh, MP3 files. Um, here I'm going to add a video uh, YouTube URL. You can also stream in video from other um, players like Vimeo as well. So the same talk by Ian Golden on YouTube. I'm just going to pull this in here as a URL and if I wanted to I could add a glossary um, to give extra support to different words by adding words and um, help. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that just um, to speed things up a little bit. So there it is and um, then I can add more documents as I go along and if I wanted to I could edit the name and description. Um, I can choose activities as well. So there are a few activities here that have already been assigned to my collection that I'm building but if I want to deselect activities that I don't think are going to be of use um, I can do that as well. So I'm just going to save that and uh, these are the collocation options so I can deselect as well but I'm going to keep all of those in there and there's other collocation activities here as well which I think would be quite nice for my students. So um, so I'm ready to go. I think you know one document's enough for me for now, um, obviously because I don't have a lot of time um, to talk you through it, but let's just see what it does. So I click on build and test. Here it is. It's come up in the yellow area and the pop-up window here is telling me that if I want to put my new collection on the web, I need to drag it up here to the finished collections area. And I can take a look at what that looks like. I can preview that. And, and here it is, the talk by Ian Golden. So we can just give that a play. The future, as we know, is very unpredictable. The so um, you can see the video is being streamed in from YouTube. Uh, the transcript is here, and we've got our part of speech tabs. Here's the adjective phrase, noun phrases, um, area of politics. If I like that phrase, I can add it to my cherry basket. Okay, so um, the same features as many of the other collections in Flax. So general service word lists, academic words, okay, 19%, um, topic specific words. So what are the words that are specific to this talk. So we've got words like systemic, risk, uh, systemic shock, resilience, pandemic. Uh, really, really great um, vocabulary coming out here. And once again, the keyword slider. So the words that appear in blue as we slide along to the left are the most frequent. And as we slide along to the right, they're the less frequent words. All right, so that's pretty much it. We've got our activities. We can start building activities, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. And we've got collocations. So bear in mind that there is only one document in this collection, so we don't have a lot of collocations here. And uh, the word list also is going to be quite small. Um, but you get the main idea. You can search for things within your collection. So let's look at that word, systemic, and, and we can see there are three paragraphs that, that feature this word, systemic. Okay, so that is it. That is how you build your collections in Flax. 
So when you go back to the main library page, you will see somewhere down here is your collection on the FLAX website. But perhaps you're not ready to have your collection appear on the website. So you just like to keep it down here in the under construction area and keep adding to it. So you go in and edit it, add a new document and so on and so forth. And this is how you build collections in FLAX. We think it's an easy to use system and we hope that you'll find it to be easy to use as well.